The classic Utopian, The Giver, by Lois Lurie, is the first book in the series, followed by Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. It has inspired more recent works like the Divergent series by Ali Condi and The Knife of Never Letting Go, the first book of Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness. The Giver follows Jonas, a boy who is moving with his groupmates from being an 11 to being a 12, an important transition between childhood and adulthood, the year that children start training for their job. What if you could live in a community where everybody's needs are taken care of, where everyone has a purpose and that purpose is clear? What if you knew that your job was the perfect fit for you, that training for it was provided, and that someday you would be able to help train others who love that work as much as you do? And what if nobody went hungry and every illness was treated by professionals at no cost, and there is no fear of war because there's no need for it, and there's no racism and no gender bias? In the community, there are rules. Breaking these rules as an adult means being released as does being too old to contribute to the community or not progressing on track as an infant. But the rules mean that everyone is equal, getting the same items with each progressive year through childhood and living in a community dwelling. Each aspect is carefully controlled so that there is no fighting, no jealousy, and no racism. In this community, you don't need to worry about anything because every choice you make, from the meal you eat to your life partner, is made for you by the committee, and the committee knows best. Now let's take a look into the evening sharing of feelings at Jonas's house. Father is a nurturer and is worried about a new child that may be released before becoming a one. Well, father said, I'm going to keep trying. I may ask the committee for permission to bring him here at night, if you don't mind. You know what the night crew nurturers are like. I think this guy needs something extra. Of course, mother said, and Jonas and Lily nodded. They had heard father complain about the night crew before. It was a lesser job, night crew nurturing, assigned to those who lacked the interest or skills or insight for the more vital jobs of the daytime hours. Most of the people in the night crew had not even been given spouses because they lacked, somehow, the essential capacity to connect with others, which was required for the creation of a family unit. Maybe we could keep him, Lily suggested sweetly, trying to look innocent. The look was fake. Jonas knew. They all knew. Lily, Mother reminded her, smiling. You know the rules. Two children, one male, one female, to each family unit. It was written very clearly in the rules. Lily giggled. <laughs> well, she said, I thought maybe just this once. During the ceremony, Jonas and the community are shocked when the chief elder skips over Jonas's placement. After apologizing for making the community members anxious, the chief elder explains that Jonas has not been placed. He has been chosen by the receiver of memories to be the new receiver of memories. This is a mysterious position with high honor, but Jonas doesn't know what any of it means. Life in the community is closely controlled so that everyone can be safe. Jonas is to gain the memories of all that happened back and back and back for generations in order to gain wisdom. Another mysterious thing that will allow him to advise the council when they ask for help. He already has the other qualities that a receiver needs to have. Intelligence, integrity, courage, and this thing called the ability to see beyond. In his community, nobody can see color. Nobody hears music. But Jonas starts seeing the color red shortly before the ceremony. And once he starts receiving memories, all of the colors start to bleed into his personal community life. Jonas wasn't interested just then in wisdom. It was the colors that fascinated him. Why can't everybody see them? Why did the colors disappear? The giver shrugged. Our people made that choice, the choice to go to sameness. Before my time, before the previous time, back and back and back. We relinquished color when we relinquished sunshine and did away with differences, he thought for a moment. We gained control of many things, but we had to let go of others. We shouldn't have, Jonas said fiercely. Will Jonas choose to keep following the rules? He cannot be released, so what will happen to him if he does? Find out how the difference between safety and choice can change the world in The Giver by Lois Laurie.